Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and this is one ounce of probably the closest thing to crude oil I could find. This is used motor oil, and I put it in here about two weeks ago. This is just one ounce, this is not much. Used motor oil usually is nice and dark like that, so you can see that it's uh, got a black consistency to it. As it starts to break down, it spreads out and it has this orangish color and this whitish color, which is what you're seeing in a lot of the videos of what's going on in New Orleans. The problem with this stuff is that it is extremely, extremely adhesive to stuff. If you put your hand in there, you can see that it is absolutely, it actually makes a, kind of a cool looking artwork, I guess, but if you are wildlife, if I didn't have a towel to get this off, um, there would be, I'd end up trying to rub it off with my other hand and I'd eventually be quickly, quickly covered in this stuff. So this is why it's extremely important to get it cleaned up as quickly as possible. And keep in mind, this is just one ounce. This is one ounce in about 10 gallons of water. So if you change your own oil in your car, this is a reason to be at, to contain every single bit of it when you do that, put stuff down to catch it and make sure none of it gets into your groundwater or this can be pretty bad. So, fortunately I'm not covered in feathers and that actually comes off somewhat easy. By the way, I don't advise you doing this at home because it's not really healthy for you to dip your hands and stuff like that, but I'm gonna do it again. Here, here is, this is from the same ounce. I've moved this to another container, and just to sh I'm gonna just stick my fingers in there. And that's what you're dealing with. You've probably heard of the dispersants that they're using for to get the oil off of the surface and basically this is just like a detergent similar to this and all that this does is cause the oil to clump up and basically all that stuff eventually sinks to the bottom so instead of having the oil visible on the top where I don't know stuff that can fly in it or stuff that surfaces would be affected it goes to the bottom where it is spread out, but can't be too good for the wildlife down there.